Final story for today is Josh Rosen, who is the uh, is the quarterback for UCLA football. Yes. But he has been uh, the definition of unpolitically correct, which mm -hmm. is not also a word, but Johnny Gomes used it in the Kansas City Royals victory parade, and it's awesome. Uh, this is what Josh Rosen said after uh, UCLA signed a $280 million shoe deal. The college signed a $280 million shoe deal for their athletes. Take a look at this Instagram. UCLA just signed a $280 million shoe deal and a, a shoe and apparel deal, the biggest in NCAA history. He screen caps top apparel deals in uh, NCAA history. UCLA with Under Armour, Ohio State Nike, University of Texas Nike, University of Michigan Nike, all way over $100 million. The most three most recent over $200 million. Wow. Josh Rosen's caption, we're still amateurs though. Gotta love nonprofits because don't forget, college football is considered a nonprofit organization, even though they are one of the most profitable <laughs> in the United States of America. But it didn't end there because he's also, before this even happened, he's been known to take some shots. He's not afraid. He's using social media to offer to share his voice, which is technically the point of it. And whether you agree or disagree with his comments on these things, that's for you guys to discuss down below. But so Josh Rosen also sent this out while he was on Trump's golf, uh, golf course. I get it. Played that course, by the way. Nice course. Trump National Golf Course with the Josh Rosen. Fuck Trump. So he's taking shots whilst actually taking, taking shots. shots. And has the same golf shoes as me. Right. Oh, those are good golf shoes. Actually, they've been doing, uh, Jock, our good friend over at Cousteau on a YouTube channel who does a lot of stuff with sneakers, has been doing a lot on golf shoes. Have they've you seen the making, golf shoes? They're making amazing Under Armour Nike golf shoes. There was ones that my buddy had at the like weekend. old man shoes now. They're like legitimate yeah. sneaker shoes. So back to Josh Rosen and his shot at the Under Armour deal. We've been through this time and time again. We've talked about it on this platform multiple times. So has a lot of other platforms out there. Um, the NCAA has nothing in place to pay their uh, to pay their athletes, even though they are a enormous part of how much money they bring in mm -hmm. to the university. We also have discussed, and Francis and my point is pretty much the same, that it's not just like you can just go out and hand a student athlete a big fat check. Yep, that's not the answer. But there is an answer somewhere. They just have not figured it out yet. But whether or not they're going to allow those discussions to really happen is not, it, or it should be happening sooner or later, uh, sooner than later, given the fact that $280 million to the university so the students can get some sweet shoes, shirts, and shorts. Look, I work for a, a network, the TYT network. TYT Sports is part of that network. I get the occasional t-shirt, the occasional sweatshirt, but it's not like they, if they signed a $280 million t-shirt, sweatshirt, shoe deal, I'd be sitting there going, huh, I think I need more money. <laughs> and it's that shirt's not going to come in, Jank. <laughs> I was going to say, that t-shirt's nice and all. We're going to pay you. This jersey's super comfortable and all, but you know what? That's a lot of goddamn money what on the table. What if it come up to you and Jason, we're going to pay you an extra $40,000 in salary, but you're going to get $40,000 shirts. 40,000 t-shirts? 40,000 If I could wear a fresh, I take that back, if I could wear a fresh <laughs> TYT t-shirt every single day. I can literally throw, I would donate it. I would send it to the, to the, to the kids who need them. Nice. Um, just like they do with the teams who lose the Super Bowl and lose the College Football National Championship. Mm -hmm. um, I would do it. Uh, one point <laughs> I wanted to make about this coach thing is, right, um, so when you, when you bring in a, a massive sponsor like that, right, you can bring in the sponsor, but they're going to make that money, and then what are they going to make on top of it, Jason? They're going to make merchandise oh, profits God, from people buying disgusting. it. One coach I'm going to name to you, and you're going to agree with me on this, I know is, the Oregon Ducks with Nike, that, like, yeah, everyone knows those Illuminous shoes, that are, those Illuminous outfits, they are, Recruited I too. love them. Like, in, um, teams will often probably go to that team just to wear those jerseys, because I probably would. It, it's, not, that, it's the facilities, too. Yes, the facilities. They get these it. amazing, look at the recruiting tool for that. So, they, so they've got, like, they will reap the benefits from that, but when you see the amount of money and how both of those partner with each other to just take it to an, the next level is, of course, those who are busting their ass to actually provide for the school, Yes, they get tuition, everything else is covered. We know this, right? But it, you have to take it in scale. Is that a benefit you get in comparison to 280 plus million dollars the same? It's the same way in any workplace, like you mentioned. Yes, you, you, you're, we're driven to the point where we think it's college athletes. They're college, they're college athletes. But it's not run like a college. It's run like a business. That's where <laughs> yeah, you need to take yourself is. out of that uh, mind frame and take yourself out of the idea that it's just college athletes that are already getting a bunch of stuff free. It's a business. It's treated as a business. See if the money was taken from the college and pumped back into the school, pumped back into these kids so that maybe in the future every kid in the school doesn't have to pay as much student loans, then maybe you make that argument. But it's treated like a business. And what are businesses ran for? Profit. Oh, you started to hit you in the head.
We're going to leave on that note, so uh, comment below with what you think about Josh Rose and what makes the perfect NBA player and Ronaldo and Griezmann, Superman's, or the Superman's, Griezmann. Uh, at France underscore Maxwell at Jason Ruben 91 all other social media in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Of course, thank you to Pluto TV at TYT Sports. And uh, that's all we got for you. We'll see you next time.